What's going on, everybody? This is Anon coming at you with episode 30 of Let's Play Seiken Densetsu 3. So last screen, I bought the rest of the armor that I didn't show off in the last episode, but it's really no point because they don't really raise your defense up by that much, only like by two points. But anyways, we're about ready to head on to the next area. After we kick care of this butt crack crease over here. I mean, what the heck was that guy just doing just now? Oh my god. Hey, Angel Girl. Awesome. Alright, let's move on. I gotta get out of this desert. There's just a lot of a lot of mooning priests here. Love showing showing your butt crack. Alright. And you know what? I also hate cockatrices too. And cock of birds. Yeah, their names are funny and all, but I don't like them at all. Alright. More duck warriors. Where are their mallards? And more dodongos too. Yeah, I wonder what a dodongo was doing in a Squaresoft game anyways. The whole idea just seems kind of far-fetched to me. I mean, a Nintendo character in a Squaresoft game. You tell me how much sense that makes. Alright, now I got a whole trio of the Dongos. So that's just great. Taste my stars. Whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa, that didn't kill any of them? What kind of madness is this? I can already I can already hear you pulling out the reference, the obvious reference there. I'm not going to though. That reference is overdone. Just like memes. All right, I'm gonna go this way. All right, move it. Get out of my way, you stupid Dodongo! Ah, you're not stupid. Dodongos are cool. Alright, move it. I love that attack. And it does a, it does a crop load of damage, too, actually. Oh, butt crack priest. I've dealt with you all before. I love, I love how, I love the, uh, the, all the full screen text. They're like the best. Why? Because they're full screen text. Alright. Get out of my way, the doggos. You look awesome and all, but still. Alright, so, yeah, if you haven't been paying attention, you can see that they keep, they keep casting this uh, uh, thing called Defense. Now you see why Bullet Scales raise defense, because bullets make them raise defense. Alright, victory. What do we got in here? <laughs> Another Angel's Grill. Uh, I have a feeling I'm going to be needing those pretty shortly. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, let's go. I'm set, are you? Wait, wait. It can't be! We defeated you two back in Rolanti! Tuh. Cursed. Then that means that- is that- Nah, that can't possibly be Hawk's girlfriend now, killed it. Seriously, they're ninjas, and they're called Bill and Ben. They're Japanese warriors, yet their names are as American as they can get it. And yeah, even though you're standing in my way, all I gotta do is just walk around you. But of course the game wouldn't let me do that because that would make things too easy. 
All right, Bill and Ben, round... Yeah. Bill and Ben, round two, if you haven't guessed. Ouch! And right, right off the bat, they decide to be a jerk and do stuff to me. All right. Let's get my buffs off. But first of all, you all attack. We just stand there for it. Let's get buffs and stuff off first. All right, Lise. You know my buffs. Bullet scales on everyone. Well, I only use it once on the machine golems fight, but I think I'm gonna use them all on um, every one of the fights. But yeah, bullet scales on everyone. And then, of course, Drake scales on my two attackers. This is actually a pretty effective uh, thing. Break scale on Durant, and then it's a Hagen scale on Angela, and then we're about ready to go. And of course, my like Hagen scales are over here. All right, now let's get Angela out of the way, and that's it. Now all we gotta do is just hammer away at this guy. Alright, so I got a little story to show you. This is actually heavily influenced by uh, Nintendo Capri Sun. I was watching one of his vlogs, actually, right before I, uh... Right before I, right before I recorded this. And it's actually one of his recent ones. I'll actually put a link in the description. It's about his worst... His, uh... He called it an airport nightmare. Oh, God. Quit chaining attacks! Seriously! Thank you. Jeez. Alright. So yeah, it's his uh, airport nightmare. And I actually want to share my story. It's not as bad as Tim's, but uh... <laughs> it's pretty bad. So, let's set the date. The date is April 31st. Oh, April 31st. There's no April 31st. April 30th, 2012. And I'm about ready to come up from college. A uh, 4.30 flight. Everything was going pretty well. I left uh, left town. About a two and a half hour drive to my aunt's house. My aunt's being in, uh, living in Jacksonville. I flew out of Jacksonville. And... I was, everything was fine. Got to my aunt's house. I was like, alright, we're leaving at 4.30. Awesome, awesome. And I get a call from the airline. And what they say... Is that my flight has been pushed back to 8 p.m. Yes, my flight has been pushed back three hours. And I'm thinking to myself, you're kidding, right? Alright, so like, okay, 8 o'clock, not too big of a deal, and now they're chaining up attacks again. Stop chaining attacks, thank you so much. Uh, I'll use a pull of oil. Just because it's two people that are not doing it. But yeah. So, I'm like, okay, so 8 o'clock, I can deal with that. I get to the airport at about 5, just to see if there's another flight. There was another flight. So, I go to the gate, and, wait, why am I just standing here? I go to the gate, and we get on the plane. And it turns out, there's some malfunctions, there was something that was malfunctioning, so we had to get off the plane. By this time, it was about 8, uh, 8.30. Yes, 8.30, and we're still in Jacksonville. So, we sat in the terminal for about another hour or so. And then finally, 9... 10.30 rolls around, and we finally leave Jacksonville. Now, unlike Tim's story, we actually make it home, which I was actually fighting for Fort Lauderdale. But... <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, get out of the way, Angela. But... I have to say that's probably my uh, my worst experience with a f with. Uh... Oh crap! Not Angela. Stop! 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 stop. Okay, good. All right, pot oil time. So yeah, that's my story. Like I said, not as bad as Tim's, but it was pre that's probably my it was pretty bad. I mean, there was a chance. There was a time where my flight actually got canceled. That actually only happened one of my one time in my life. Once. 
in my life, actually. It was uh, back in 2000, we were coming back from Niagara Falls, but... At least then I was with my family. Oh, what? Oh. Oh, we killed one! Awesome. But yeah, I was with my family, but like I said, that was the one only time where we, that my flight got cancelled. And it wasn't too bad actually. The hotel we stayed at was nice, and then the day after they gave us a first they gave us first class. Alright, I'm gonna still let Lisa and Duran take care of these guys. Oh, that was quick. Oh hey, we got healed. Awesome. I don't like the wind though. The wind's kinda ominous. Alright, let's head inside here. Ooh, Valley of Flames. Actually, before we head in there, let me check what day it is. Oh, Dryad's Day. Awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna take that that thing to heart there where he said, don't go in there on Salamando's Day. This place is wicked hard. I'm just warning you right now. Speaking of wicked hard, we got another new enemy, the Duck General. Oh yeah, we also got fire in here too. Wait, what is this? Was that a ninja? Or a samurai? Was that Bill and Ben's cousin? Hmm. Hold on, let me let me check something. Am I actually losing health when they when it does that? I really hope not. Whoa. What in the world was that? Well, we won't be able to enter that room for a pretty long time, actually. That room either. So the game wants us to take this one particular path to the monastery. That's fine. I'm, I'm cool with that. Oh, I got some new enemies. Fire Drakes. Actually... I'm gonna try something. This is the fire area, right? Let's see if this works. Yeah, <laughs> I love the look on the fire on the uh, dark priest's face. Yeah, it does. Oh, you get over here! There shall be no healing in my world. All right, so it looks like it doesn't take off, uh, it doesn't take off experience, uh, experience. It doesn't take off, uh, stuff. And by stuff, I mean, um, experience. I mean, not experience. Gah! Get it right. Um, hand axe. Oh, crap. I didn't do that bad, that bad of damage. Um, ah, wrong one. Uh, Duran. Uh, where are you? Where are you, Angela? There you are. On the HP. Why do I keep thinking HP is experience? Why am I playing Lennis? Where HP is actually MP. Ooh, my god. Yes. I love you, game. I love you. No homo. Game saved. Let's move on. Whoa. Alright, Big U. You've got your cornered now. You coward. You'd rather hide behind someone's back? Dart. What the? It's Hawk. Hello, Hawk. Oh. Did you know Hawk's full name is Hawkeye? The more you know. Alright. I'll do that. The Monostone is just ahead, I believe. Yep. All right, you. I 
think that's what we wanted to do, right? Was release the and the uh, Monostone's enemy? Or Monostone's enemy? I mean Monostone's energy. Monostones don't have enemies. What am I thinking? Who is this dark prince you're everyone's ranting on about? Anyways, let's take a look at this monostone. Not if I can stop it. Hmm. Oh, well, that sucks. It's like uh, Armageddon. Hey, Salamando. How you doing? Oh, you're... P Oh, you've always been kind of a hothead. And a uh, master at horrible puns, too. Alright, enough with the fire. We get it. You're the fire spirit. You can stop uh, with the fire and stuff. But horrible puns aside, we get the power of Salamando. We've finally got fire. And I can't get out of here, can I? Ah, uh, well. Okay. Um. I'm gonna check for magical ropes. And if I don't have it, I'm just gonna end up having to walk out anyway, so I'll just meet you all back outside. Okay, Anonymous One. What the hell just happened? Well, I know I said I'd meet you all at the uh, beginning of the uh, Valley of Flames, but I figured I'd just meet you all back here in Dean. Just for your convenience. Alright, so let's see. We need to go sleep at the end because it's nighttime. But, anyways, the next place we need to go is actually we need to look for. Um. I'm blanking on the thing's name. Hold on, while I'm sleeping, I'm gonna contemplate this. Give me a second. Alright, Luna. We need to go find Luna. So, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off here and do my traveling off-screen. So, thank you all for watching, and I will meet you all in the land where we find Luna, which is the moon spirit, I believe. Well, duh, it means moon in Spanish. Later!